what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel for today's video i want to show you how i built my diy camper setup in the bed of my tacoma i'm going to go super in depth on how i did it so maybe i can help you guys out to build your own so let's get into it all right for anyone that's new here uh just to give you a quick update this is a 2020 tacoma with a five foot bed and i can comfortably camp out of here and this is what i did so essentially all it is is a deck system um underneath this this is just a piece of plywood with two by sixes running across the little slits in the bed that hold that on top super simple i think i built this whole thing for well under 250 bucks uh i bought three sheets of five eighths uh plywood and that's what everything's made out of other than the two by sixes but it was a pretty simple setup so that's all i really did was use those two by sixes under there and those are just held in by gravity there's no fasteners no nothing and it's plenty heavy enough to kind of hold everything in place but also i could pull it out really easy if needed to so i really like that setup and then going up to this mattress right here this is actually a queen size bed uh, memory foam mattress topper and it's super comfy it's pretty firm um, I like it but what's cool about this queen size is it's actually perfect length side to side I get a little bit of gap on each side but other than that it fits perfect so if you guys are looking for something to fit right in there go with the queen size all i had to do was trim off a little bit of the back but that was the best way to go in my opinion and then i just have a fitted sheet on here that was from target super cheap um same with that that's just a comforter cheap pillow i'm trying to do everything super budget as most of you guys know already that have been following the channel but uh moving on to the drawers so the drawers are five foot long they slide out the length of the bed both of them both drawers are exactly the same size and they can pull out all the way they're super sturdy super strong and these are just made out of the 5 8 plywood as well and i just cut them down and use screws to go into the bottoms of it and for the actual dimensions on this this is 19 inches wide this is six inches tall and then obviously like i said before the drawers themselves are five feet deep so when the tailgate is closed it's the perfect length to keep them in place without any fasteners or other hardware that is unneeded as long as you measure right and make it the perfect length so that's what i did on both of those and for underneath for my railing system i use these one by ones all the way down on all of them it goes the whole length of the drawer as well to slide in these little creases and it keeps them from going back and forth it keeps it in place sliding it in And it holds them in place to make sure they're secure and i really like that setup and the reason i made them a little bit shorter than using all this room is i figured you know maybe i get muddy boots or wet clothes from the rain so this is still my bed with drainage and stuff so i figured i can put dirty stuff in here and keep all my nice clean stuff in here and obviously in these trucks it's mainly meant for one person to sleep diagonally but it is comfortable it's very comfortable easy to do and uh oh i actually forgot to tell you guys about the carpet the carpet that i'm running on here was also super super cheap it's from home depot it's a six by nine or six by eight uh patio rug so i just got the patio rug and i threw some staples in the underside and this is actually just a spray adhesive. I just sprayed it on and I trimmed it out to fit. 
and I think it looks pretty good. It looks professional. That's kind of what I was going for is to have something that looked not homemade, if that makes sense. Something that looks presentable and clean and it fits the truck. It's not just a bunch of stuff slapped together. So that's that on the bed system. There's not a whole lot to it. It's super simple. And like I said, almost anyone can go out and do that on their own with minimal tools. I think I used a saw and a uh, drill to pre-drill holes and then run the screws in. So it was super simple. It took me, I don't know, about a week to finish it because I just spend, I don't know, 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there after work, just kind of piecing it together. But I mean, if you really dedicated your time, you can definitely finish something like this in a weekend. But uh, also, I wanted to get your guys' opinions too, is because I think my one complaint with this whole setup is based around the soft topper. So sitting inside is super comfy. I would love to be able to sit up inside, but with this room, you can only sit up so far and you have to slouch and it's kind of, I don't know, a little inconvenient. And I get if you're camping, you're not going to be sitting in there all day, every day. But I mean, during a rainstorm or whatever it is, it would be nice to sit in there. So I was kind of thinking of maybe even uh, getting a fiberglass camper shell. The ones that kind of swoop up a hair to give you extra headroom. Uh, I don't think they look bad. I think it looks pretty cool. And then with my roof rack too on top, I think it'll all flow pretty nice. What do you guys think? Would you just run the uh, soft top or would you guys get a fiberglass? Because my thing is, is I'm trying to keep everything budget on this truck to show people that you don't have to have all the money in the world to build out an overland rig. I'm trying to keep it super simple and super low budget and that's a huge expense. So I don't know, it's kind of straying away from the roots are where I started with this truck. But anyway, comment down below, let me know. Uh, also, another thing that I did back here for convenience is this tabletop. Anyone that has a Tacoma knows that if you set anything down, everything's falling. It doesn't matter. If you have a drink, it's falling down. Um, your cooking stuff never sits right. It's just super annoying. So this is actually just a quarter inch sheet of wood and I just took my old panel off, set it on the wood, traced it, traced all the holes, and it fit perfect. So this was a super easy DIY if anyone's looking to do something like that. I just trimmed out where all the latches go, literally just traced and cut. Super simple. Uh, finish it off, give it a nice stain so it looks good. And yeah, now I got a nice little tabletop. I'll let you guys know how that holds up. I'm excited to try it out and actually cook on it. So that's that. And another addition I just got to that I'll probably make a separate video on by itself is that maxi track awning. It's an eight by eight, super cool. Not gonna go super in depth on it right now or else I'll just talk all day. And I wanna save that for another video. So make, oh, sorry. Got a little sidetrack. Talk to a jeeper over there. But anyway guys, like I was saying, what do you guys think? Would you guys run this setup in your truck? Do you guys already have a setup like this in your truck? And if so, how do you have it organized? I just kind of have stuff thrown in. I try to make this like my kitchen area and everything inside here is nice and dry and out of the dust like my um, seasonings, my cutting board, utensils, stuff like that. Stuff that you don't really want dirty when you're trying to use it. I um, got my pots and pans, some more extra utensils just in case, like just disposable ones. Um, I have my little stove, gas, and all that other junk. And then this side is just kind of a junk drawer right now. This is a electric generator right here. I can also do a video on that if you guys are interested too. Um, I've been trying it out. I'm super happy with it. That's another Amazon budget thing that's cheaper than the competitors but I'm very satisfied so if you guys want to see stuff on that let me know I'll do a video um 
this is just a little mini swamp cooler hammock it's just junk just stuff that i didn't know where else to put i put it in here but um yeah let me know how you guys set up your trucks because i'd like to figure out how to keep it more organized and things more together but yeah other than that guys that's it for today's video i just want to go over that with you because uh i think it'd be cool to have people building stuff of their own and being proud of their work and using it and not just buying something that's store-bought that you're spending 10 times more than what you could have done it for yourself so i just want to show you how i did mine uh how it's holding up for me it's holding up awesome i've been going through all these trails and getting squirrely with it and nothing's moved nothing's budged everything's still intact everything's still really nice so i'm happy with it so if you guys are wondering like ah if i can do it yeah you can just go out like i said saw and a drill that's all you need and build your own stuff it's cool uh, trust me the payoff is awesome when you get to camp out of your own homemade camp setup it's super cool so that's mine you guys and like i said i have a ton of stuff ton of new stuff in there so if you guys want to see a video on anything in particular let me know i'll do it and uh yeah we'll see you on the next adventure